Did you ever have a problem that was hard to solve? That's what we're going to talk about today in our book, Cricket, written by Stephen Cosgrove and illustrated by Charles Reasoner. Are you ready for this super fun story? Let's begin! As you lay on a summer's day in a warm and sunny place, don't look up into the skies. Instead, look down and squint your eyes. Squint them both so very tight that if you look with all your might, you'll find the land of more than small. And in this land are bugs, that's all. The wind whistled through the leaves of grass and among all the buildings a bug fell. Even the hammers rang like musical bells. Every nail they pounded. Not far from Bugville, in a sheltered glen of clover trees, all the bugs came to sing or hum a tune. When work was done in the late afternoon, the music soared above the night, and you could see a wondrous sight. A bug on piano, a bug on drum. Your feet started tapping, and you had to hum. Not far from the glen, sitting all alone in a mushroom grove, was a sad and lonely cricket named Cricket. She sat on her stump and tried not to listen, but the music, the music was all she could hear. Then Cricket's tears, with a rhythm all their own, dripped and dropped from her eyes to her fingers to her toes. For earlier that evening, she had joined the other bugs as they sat around listening to a rousing good song. As every bug joined in and sang the chorus, Cricket, too, began to sing along. But the note she sang was so sour that mirrors cracked and giant dogs bayed at the moon. She had rushed to the mushroom grove and sat all alone, too cold to stay, too embarrassed to leave. Finally, because there was no way she could stay out all night, she slowly headed home. Poor Cricket, her eyes brimmed with tears, and all of the trail was nothing more than a blur. She stubbed her toe on a twig, tripped on a stone, and stumbled over a sleeping caterpillar. Excuse me, said the caterpillar, perplexed and amused. Who's tripping over me while I snooze? It was me, said Cricket, quite confused. I, I didn't see you there, lying there while you snoozed. The old caterpillar stretched his many arms and yawned, a deep and melodic yawn. Ah, little cricket, you should watch where they're going when they walk late at night, he rumbled like a bass trombone. Oh, I'm so sorry, sobbed Cricket. I wasn't paying attention. You see, the trouble is I can't sing. The music won't sink into my head. There, there the old caterpillar said. You can't make music with your head. You must make it with your heart instead. Cricket's little eyes lit up. Of course, she thought, and she thanked the caterpillar and ran home to find a musical instrument that would express the music in her head. Bright and early the next morning, Cricket went out back where the daisies grow and tried every musical instrument she could find. The tuba, the oboe, even a rose petal horn. None of them were exactly right. They all sounded a lot better than her singing. But there was still something missing. Cricket thought and thought, and then she thought some more. I've tried all the horns, but they just don't seem to be right. I tried the piano, and it wasn't right either. Hmm. Suddenly, she remembered that in the attic was her grandpa's old violin. I don't need to dawdle or daddle. I can learn to play the fiddle. With that, she dashed up the stairs to the attic where the fiddle was stored. Croquette dusted off the violin, put rosin on the bow, and then, like a wild bug, she let it all go. She didn't play classical as she rolled around. The song, she felt, had a country sound. Later that afternoon, she slipped quietly back to the musical glen where every bug was singing along. She didn't try to join in, but gently swayed to the beat. Finally, some bug asked, Croquette, can you play the fat fiddle? She smiled kind of shyly and said, Well, just a little. She walked to the stage where she removed the violin from its case, tuned it very carefully, and began to play. With a whoop and a cheer, all of the bugs began dancing with any bug near. 
So, if you ever feel like there's something you can't do, maybe try something new. Remember Cricket and her all-bug band? I'll see you real soon, friends. Bye.